Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, in this week's video we're just going to do a really super quick video on how I tear my paper. Uh, this is one of my more popular videos and one that people have had a lot of questions about mainly because it's on a white uh, desk. So in this video really all we're going to need is a cutting mat. I really like the uh, ones that you can just get at you know Walmart or Amazon. I'll leave a couple linked um, in the description box. I tend not to get them at craft stores just because they can be a little bit more expensive and then also I want to make sure that I have a uh, sewing ruler. I really like this because it's clear and it has all of the markings on it. Uh, you can see the the one inch markings really clearly and then it has the lines for quarter inch and little dashes for an eighth of an inch. So when I am cutting my paper I want to make sure that I have a cutting mat and I want to be able to read the numbers. Um, this definitely gets a little bit harder if you're working with larger paper but for something like this I'm really just going to take my paper and I'm going to line it up with a flat edge. Um, and in this case I'm lining up with the very edge of the mat. Um, and that way I can get an even marking uh, throughout the entire thing. And then I want to be able to read this row of numbers so that I can make sure that this cut is going to be accurate. So really what I'm going to do is place it down and make sure that my ruler is where I want it to be. Um, since I have the the flat edge lined up here and I have my deckled edge lined up at the one inch mark, I know that I have a pretty straight um, alignment on my uh, on my page, my mat, and with my ruler. So once I have it lined up to where I want it to be, I'm going to take my ruler and line it up with the number that I want on my cutting mat. And really all I'm going to do is put a really firm hold on my ruler and then take my paper and tear it. It's really as simple as that. And then you have this really beautiful um, cut paper with a deckled edge. This is the original deckled edge from the company. And then this is your deckled edge that you have from tearing your paper. And this is all I do for preparing my paper uh, when I'm getting ready to paint a project. You can do it with basically any paper that you have. And yeah, it just looks really nice. I think it looks really pretty. Uh, so that's really all for this video. Really super quick and easy. I'm sorry that I put it off for as long as I did, and I hope that you found it helpful. Like I said, I'll leave all of the materials that I used in the description box down below so you can check that out, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!